I is Amber. Does anyone feel like everyone just treats Amber like she's the Sakura of Genshin? And I highly disagree. Yo, what is up everybody? I am Ami Yoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, or welcome back to my channel, Mother Freaka! This is my attempt at cosplaying Amber. This is the most titties I have and ever will show on camera. Today, we are finally bringing a Genshin Impact video. Another highly requested video, and because of the one year anniversary of Genshin Impact was recently, I thought why not just whip this bad boy up and get this out there for you guys. For this video, we will be recreating several items from the collab cafe with Genshin Impact and Sweets Paradise. Y'all know I'm more of a drink person because yes, I'm lazy and I don't like to cook. I need my own waifu in my life because I would literally just starve because I don't care about cooking. If I can't microwave it, I don't want it. We will be doing three food items and five drink items. Yes, I know there are way more than five drinks, but I really didn't want to do like the really plain drinks. For example, Amber. Her drink is literally just jasmine tea and some purple edible flower. And Fenty's is just apple tea with an apple and I was like, nah man, I ain't doing that. So for the really plain drinks, I, I dipped out on those, I'm sorry, but the more creative, the little more, the little more special, a little more cool special drinks that are more my style, I did. So yeah, that's what we doing. Now let's begin. First is my Daddy D. Luke. <laughs> I love that man so much. d Look for his drink features one of his favorite items, grape juice. For d Look's drink, you will need grape juice, fruit cocktail, cherries, and orange, and a cute printable chibi. I will leave the link to all of these down below. When I was doing this, I printed out all of the things, like I printed out the menu, I printed out the little sheet things they give out at the actual cafe in Japan. So do not worry, I will leave a link to everything in the description for you all to put those on your own Genshin Cafe drinks. And now the steps to making Deluxe drink. First, you are going to get one cup of grape juice, three tablespoons of fruit cocktail syrup, and optional one tablespoon of simple syrup. Mix it all up, get your glass, throw your ice in there, pour in your drink, and make sure to leave a little room so we can put on some orange slices and cherries. And don't forget your cute little Deluxe chibi straw, and boom, you got Deluxe delicious fruit grape juice drink that is from the Genshin Cafe in Japan. Done. Next drink is for Kaya. Ugh, I love that man. Kaya, the best boy. He is also daddy. And for his drink, you will need apple cider, apple, and mint. But it's a very simple drink. You're gonna get your glass, put in some ice, fill your cup with apple cider, cut an apple slice, cut like an indent on the middle part of the apple slice so you can plop it on your rim and finish it off with your Kaya chibi straw. Boom, Kaya's apple cider is done. Next drink is for fish. For official's drink, you will need calpico or white water, grape syrup, any type of jellies to make our purple jelly stars. As usual, I use agar agar, and I use the same recipe every time. By just one cookbook, I will leave the link in the description. And then I put in grape syrup to make it purple, and then I put it in my star molds, and then plopped it in the freezer so then they can just plop out when they're done. Wait for it to solidify, and while we do that, we are going to make official's drink. To make official's drink, you're gonna get a glass, pour in one cup of calpico, add one to two tablespoons of grape syrup and then once your jelly stars have finished solidifying take them out and just pour them all into your glass and pour in your drink mixture add your chibi official straw on top and boom you got sweet baby boo's adorable purple jelly star drink done next we got mona for mona's drink you will need blue syrup it didn't specify what kind so i used blue hawaii syrup club soda or a sprite cider and you will need dark purple blue and green jellies as stated before you can use agar agar like i did or you can use jello i mean you could use a lemon like in the picture and that i provided but i might have forgot to add it in the final thing i'm sorry it's like 3 a.m when i do these videos sometimes i forget to add the topping but um yeah oopsie oops and of course, the cute, adorable chibi straw. Now to make Mona's drink, we are going to get one half cup of cider and one cup of club soda, add three tablespoons of blue syrups, and now use agar agar to make all of your jelly stars. Put them all in the fridge to solidify, and then when they were finally done, I took them out and put them all in the glass. One at a time, first green, then the blue, then the purple, 
and then carried on until the glass was full. And then I poured in my blue drink concoction, put in my Mona straw, and boom. And yes, I forgot to put in the lemon, but behold, Mona's drink is done. It was actually pretty good. Obviously, the jellies are a little too big to suck out of the straw, but you know what? It's fine out here in these streets. It's fine. And last but certainly not least, our last drink for this video is for our sweet wolf baby razor. For his drink, you will need blueberry syrup, blueberries, club soda, and mint. A very simple, very sweet drink for our baby razor. For razor's drink, you are going to get one cup of club soda, add three tablespoons of blueberry syrup, fill your glass with ice, pour in your drink, and make sure to leave a little space up top and fill the rest up with blueberries, plop the mint on top, and add Add your cute chibi razor straw and boom you got razors yummy plummy blueberry drink boom now that we finished going over all the drink items we are now going to move on to the food items first item we got is for albedo for his drink we will be making a lava cake or a chocolate fondant in japan but it is basically just a lava cake you will also need vanilla ice cream chocolate powder and edible flour and our baby albedo straw now I admit I cheated at this part. At first I was gonna like make a lava cake like from scratch, but then at Safeway I found these freaking pre-made kind of-ish boxes. TBH, like they tasted I. They weren't like that great, but you know what? If you want like a freaking quick 20 minute lava cake for this video, that is what I did. I followed the directions on the box I was given. I had the two little cup foil thingies greased them all up with Pam, divided the batter into two, and plopped it in the oven. Next, I was trying to figure out how to do like the geo symbol because on the plate, they had the geo symbol made in cocoa powder. So what I did is I went on the internet, looked up the geo symbol, traced it on a friggin' lined paper, and then like cut out the shape, and then I traced it again on top of a back of a notebook, like the cardboard part. Similar to what I did for the Tanko hair bow in my Danganronpa V3 Cafe video, yes, Part three is coming after this cafe, okay? I hear y'all, I know. And then I actually cut the stencil part like too small because usually you want just like a little more room just so you don't freaking make a mess with the cocoa powder and so it doesn't get all over the plate. So I had to like put a napkin on top just so I wouldn't just get chocolate powder all over the cake. I wanted this to look somewhat presentable. Add your edible decor flour on top, flipped over your lava cake onto the plate, get a scoop of vanilla ice cream and place your baby cafe uniform. It's so cute albedo on top and boom you got albedo's ground chocolate fondant with vanilla ice cream obviously it is not perfect to the image but i think i did a pretty good job next is for barbara we got her spicy reference to her hangout event strawberry parfait the ingredients you will need are frosted flakes whipped cream strawberry syrup strawberries ice cream and mint and now to assemble it together, first you're gonna get your glass, put in your frosted flakes at the bottom of the glass, then stuff ice cream on top of the frosted flakes. I tried to like mush it enough because on the image it was like the vanilla and then the strawberry, so I like tried to do that and I guess I didn't stuff the vanilla ice cream enough because it, the strawberry syrup was like souping down to the bottom and getting all the frosted flakes and I was like, I was trying to make it look like the picture. It's a, it's not like I was trying to like make it perfect or cute or anything. Next, we cut up some strawberries and put into the glass. Add some more ice cream if you want, then add some whipped cream on top. Drizzle strawberry syrups and then add mini chopped strawberries on top of the whipped cream. Put a mint on top and then finish it up with your adorable chibi Barbara. And boom, you got Barbara's spicy strawberry parfait. It is, it was actually pretty good. Like if you're, if you're gonna make anything, make this. And last, but certainly not least, we got our baby beautiful baby child from above. Her food item is inspired by her specialty item, the fisherman's toast. And TBH, I was like, what the freak did this child make? What is this blasphemy on a plate that I'm gonna have to eat? What you will need for this item is plain bread, tomato or pizza sauce, cheese, tuna, ketchup, and broccoli. And you know, you know what, hear me out, hear me out. I had broccoli. 
but someone in my house ate it. So when I was trying to film this video at like 3 in the morning, I'm like, what the fuck happened to my broccoli? And someone ate like my one stem of broccoli that I bought and I was so mad. But you know what? It's fine. We'll use cilantro instead. And of course, a baby topper for Klee. Step one to making Klee's item. First, I decided to like lightly toast the bread just so the tomato sauce wouldn't like make it soggy and make it drip down. Next, with the spoon, you are going to lather some tomato sauce on top of your bread. Next, you are going to layer some cheese on top of that. And next, we're gonna put it in the convention oven. I decided to put it there just cause I wanted the cheese to, you know, get like melted and get a little crisp. Just to like one, match the image. And I don't know, I just thought it'd be better. I don't know, do I look like a chef? Don't answer that. Now it is time to make the tuna. First, I also recommend you try to get as much of the liquid, whether your tuna is in water or in oil, I recommend trying to just get as much of the liquid out as first because when I first tried to do the tuna, the hotness of the cheese, like, I don't know, it kind of made the liquid come out a little. While your cheese is in the convention oven, make your tuna. Put in mayo if you want. I don't know. I don't know how people eat tuna. You're gonna take your bread out of the convention oven, put it on a plate, and with a spoon, you're going to carefully try to make that little X shaped like design on top of the cheese, and then you're gonna put ketchup around the edges. At first, I was gonna use the bottle, but then I was like, I am not prepared. I was like too scared the bottle was gonna like and like spot the ketchup everywhere. So I caved and used ketchup packets. Just lightly coated ketchup all over the rims of the tuna. And when I was doing this, I was like, damn, this looks like something a child would make. Like tuna and ketchup on like a pizza bread? What is this, Clay? And then broccoli? But I didn't even have broccoli, so I like put a cilantro on top and then just stab in your baby Clee, and then boom, you got Clee's cafe item and interpretation of the fisherman's toast. And you know what? That actually was pretty damn good. TBH, I ain't even a huge pizza or tuna person. First of all, like the bread part with the tomato and the cheese, it was like kind of plain. Like it was like it wasn't that hot. It was pretty simple and pretty plain. But for some reason, with the tomato and the ketchup, this is a banger. Like why is like why is this actually good? Like I'm like. This was actually pretty damn good. I, after this video, I'm probably gonna go make another one and eat it. I don't, Klee is a freaking genius. One, we already know she is the strongest in Mondstadt. Do not fight it. Not gonna lie. At first I was like, what is this literal monstrosity <laughs> that I am eating? But for some reason, it was actually pretty damn good. But yeah, that is it for my Genshin Impact Egg Sweets Paradise Cafe video. I hope you all enjoyed all the items we made today and I hope you all check them out. As usual, all recipes and links will be in the description below as usual. And if they're not there right away, please give me a minute. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my wee family. I love you very much and I will see you next time. Bye! Do I? Excuse you. Hmm. Bye.